Hello everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial video. In this video I'm going to focus on Vogue Motion, the master of the bone type miniature. The miniature is sub-assembled, so in this way it's easier to paint some of the hidden parts of the miniature. I'm using airbrush as base coating the miniature with Zandri dust. But if you don't have it, like just easily with brush, apply to it. So here's the miniature base painted. The first thing I'm gonna be painting is the inner robe which is Abaddon black and corn red, a 1 to 1 mixture ratio. Then I am giving a wash with no oil on the inside of the robe once the no oil is dry I'm going to corn red just layer on the inside So the inner rope should look like this. I'm using Agrax Earth Shade on the bone areas. I assembled already the miniature, but it's right leg, which is inside. I already pre-painted in exactly the same way as I'm showing it here. Once the Agrax Earth Shade is dry, I'm using more best bone and try brushing all the bone areas. Also, I'm using a small brush and start layering with the same color. I start highlighting the bone areas with screaming skull.
and giving a fine highlight of white scar only in the sharpest edges of the bone areas. Careful around the finished bone areas already. I am giving a wash of known oil on the rope. is dry so I'm going back with corn red and giving a dry brush on the robe. And also start layering again with corn red. Start highlighting the robe with Wasdaka Red. Finishing the rope with Kisla Flesh and Wasaka Red, a mixture of 1 to 1 ratio, and just focusing mainly in the edges. The robe is now finished and it looks like this. I start painting Nagash's icy gaze using Orthon Grey and start applying it on the chest. I am giving a technical nylac oxide on the, the spiritual phase. Once the nylac oxide is dry, I'm adding a green shade and I'm washing the face. Go back with Ulfa and Grey and start layering the spiritual head. And with 
with Wave Watcher Green Glaze and adding some extra glaze to the chest. Nagashi's icy gaze through his chest is now complete. I start base painting the scrolls and also the armor pieces with administratum grey. I am using Agar Surf Shade and I'm applying it on the scrolls, on the armor pieces and also on its bone hair. On the bone hair, after the fourth layer, I am happy with the result. I'm going back to Administratum Grey and start layering all the areas. Then I use Administratum Grey and Althon Grey, a 1 to 1 mix ratio, and start highlighting all the scrolls and the armors. The scrolls, the armor is now finished. Now I'm moving on to the coffin and I'm using Mechanica Standard Grey. It's already base painted, the coffin itself. And the first thing I'm doing is adding Agrax Earth Shade wash onto the coffin I use Mechanica Standard Grey and give it a dry brush onto the coffin I use Dawnstone and start highlighting the areas. and administratum grey and with that just on the sharpest features of the coffin I'm giving a highlight I am using contour blue base paint and start applying it on its sash the shoulder plates
and the candles as well. In all the counter blue areas I am using non oil wash. start highlighting with Russell Gray Sadly, it has not been recorded, but the inside the coffin, the spiders are painted as well with Abaddon black and dry brush of Gorthor brown. Now that the shoulder pad and the sash is being painted, I am able to glue the coffin on the I am giving a base paint on the candle flames with Ulfran Grey. While the Ulfran Grey is drying, Stonehole Silver on all the nails of the armor. Now that the candle fire is dry with Othon Grey, I'm adding Colium Green Shade. Really, like three quarter of the flame itself. all the three decapitated heads on two of the male heads I used Lamia Media and Carver Crimson uh, 3 to 1 mixture, ratio, wash Now 
on the Queen's head I used Dragon of Nightshade and Lamia Medium uh, 1 to 3 mixture ratio wash once the washes are dry I'm going back with Iron Rock Skin and try brushing it onto the head and also start layering it with a small brush Using deep kin flesh and start highlighting on the head. And with Palette Witch Flash, I'm fine highlighting them. With the Reikland Flash Shade Wash, I start to wash down each head. After the wash is dry, I'm using Rocker Flash and Olive Witch Flash, a 1 to 1 mixture ratio, and start highlighting again the head. With Palette Witch Flash, I base paint all the eyes of the heads. I'm using Kerber Crimson just where all the open wounds are of the head. I'm using Rhinox Height on the beard I base paint with screaming skull all the teeth I'm using Mechanical Standard Grey on the middle head's hair. And also highlight the Queen's hair. I'm using no Noi now on the beard and on the hair as well, just to give a wash. After the wash is dry, I'm highlighting the 
beard with Xander dust and Brian outside. And Administratum Grey on highlighting the middle head hair. So now the decapitated heads are finished. I'm using Balthazar Gold on the Queen and the right King's Crown, also on the symbol and the pen. With Lead Belcher I'm base painting the middle head crown and also the chains I'm using corn red and I water it down quite heavily, like a 4 to 1 ratio. I'm just applying it on the X on the scroll. I'm doing the same technique with the rust gray as well. And it's just the emblem on the scroll. And Rhinox Hide, same technique on the writings on the scroll. I'm using Agrax Earthshade now that all the metallic paints are dried and give them a wash. So the bottles are gold and all the lead belcher area. Now that the wash is dry, I'm using Retributor Armor on the Queen and the King's Crown and also the tip of the pen. I'm using Stormhost Silver now and highlighting the middle head crown and also the chains. And with Psychorex Bronze, I layered the hierarchy emblem. And now, with all the metal parts are done, the miniature looks like this. With Demon at Height, I base paint the bindings 
on the stuff I give an Agrax Earthshade wash and I am dry brushing Warp Fiend Grey onto the bindings. And there you have it, the whole miniature is now complete. If you are interested about the base, how it's done, I will link in the description the tutorial for Cut Across the Part 1, which I'm doing the base on. I hope you liked the video and see you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe for some more painting tutorials and also give a like if you liked it. Many thanks, cheers!